Ana Ponte, Santa La Ciabla, Sobre, La Terra de Aranha. Something happened. Did they push it? Where'd it go? We've run into a bit of a roadblock here. We have a jackknifed car or something in front of us, and this is the only road in. And if it doesn't move, we're not going anywhere. So we're just gonna sit here, right guys? Right. Yay! What'd they say? Like two hours. Oh, man. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What did he I say happened? You 20 minutes. You just said it fell off, I don't know. That's it. It fell off. It fell off. <laughs> what fell off? It. There goes Allie, she's going to help. Go get him, Allie, give him a, give him a boost. Give him a boost. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. You got it, turn it, there you go, turn it. Push him, get him out of there, get him out of there. Go, 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 get it, go, go, go! No, not yet, not yet, not yet. I want to let us get by before they, uh... go. Yeah. Get it. We made it. I could be a gentleman and help you, but it's much more fun to film you struggle. <laughs> How did you end up down here? <laughs> I read the book a couple of years ago, and it really changed my life. It changed the whole my whole idea on running, on ultra running, and and what it does for me. And it's not it's not about time. It's not about anything other than um, just the experience and, and what it does for you mentally. I am really happy to be here right now. Even though it's raining and cold and I thought I'd be camping out tonight, I'm really happy I'm here. These canyons just make me feel alive. There is some magic going on here. And I don't want to sound like some boulder hippie, but it's true, like, <sighs> I just breathe deeper here. And the air is so clean and the people are so nice. And ah, the beans, the beans are amazing. I love the beans. And uh, I'm so excited for this whole week. It's just getting started. I'm making new friends. I'm meeting people from all over the country that are here for their first time or their 10th time. And we're all here for one reason, essentially, and that's to push ourselves physically and mentally, but also probably more importantly, to have fun and make new friends. And that's what the running community has done for me all my life. Some of my best and dearest friends I've met through running. It's one of those sports you can do when you're you know you're doing it you can chat with somebody for hours as they run beside you a lot of sports you can't do that you can't do that when you're playing football or basketball you're not having a conversation with the person next to you and that's why i love running it's kind of it's meditative you're just out there and it's you and mother nature and <sighs> breathing fresh air can you see <sighs> you can see my breath it is that cold here in mexico right now El Perro Cerveza. This is my fourth trip to the canyon. And I wasn't gonna make the trip, I'd made two, and it was like enough. It's a, like this long journey. I become a mas loco, which in essence is, if you come all the way from wherever into Mexico, down to the bottom of this canyon, you're a mas loco. I never had a tattoo in my life. And I got three tattoos and they all have something to do with the Copper Canyons, the Tata Humera, so one of them is the quote that Caballo Blanco had is quite famous. It's always the neatest thing to meet all these folks from all over the world. I literally have on Facebook friends now from all corners of the globe. I was one of those individuals that it, it, it happened because I just love running. 5K, 10K, uh, I never saw myself running a marathon. I've ran over 20, 100 marathons and I just love to run. Uh, there's really no, I don't have like this, great answer for that. I'm a runner and I'm 79 years old, 70, excuse me, 75. I actually started running 20 years ago when I was 14. I did my first marathon when I was 14 with my dad. I fell in love with the sport of uh, endurance and I've been running since. Why this long ass trek all the way to the canyons? Well, I learned about it actually from, as many have read the book, Born to Run, and I thought it was such an amazing community that was so deep, so difficult to get there on this journey to just reach the Tarahumara. And I was like, one day I would like to try. And when I met Michael, it was like a blessing. And he said, we go, we go there and go join us. 
I'm like, yes, I would love to, you know, try this and go meet and be immersed with the culture of the Tarahumara. So I teach in a bilingual program for teachers in college in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and many of my students are from Chihuahua. And so I have students who are specifically from this area, and every day when I would go on my lunch run, they would talk about las Tarahumaras, Tarahumaras, and it evolved. I learned more, I bought the sandals, I started learning so much that I decided I'm going. So I love running. So I run throughout the Sandia Mountains in New Mexico. I've grown up there. I love trail running. Um, it's what I do to clear my head. It's what I do to feel free. It's a package deal. I get to run in this amazing place in these beautiful mountains that are very new to me. And I'm all about exploring. Any, any profound statements for this morning? I'm cold. <laughs> That's as deep as I'm gonna get today. We're going down the waterfall and the, and the fun stuff. Be fun. <laughs> Play a little bit on the rocks, a little slidey. into a bit of an obstacle. This river here is usually not this high and you can just walk right across it. Not today. Check it out. We crossed the river and the sun came out. There's blue sky! Ah, that's fresh. The waterfall run, that was the longest three miles of my life. I don't think Michael really knows how long three miles is, but boy, that was good. 